Hello everybody and welcome back to another podcast by the KNS channel and the yeah. Dino's here as well. And so hello from Kieran. Hello. And hello from Sebastian. Hi. And um, how has your week been? Uh, good, thank you. Yes, did you see anything interesting or read an interesting comic, comic book? Mm, I haven't really been reading. I've been reading my Assassin's Creed book. Okay, how's that going? Yeah, it's an awesome book about... Um, We're big noses and pieces. Uh, it's like a... Well, yeah. It's Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, but it's... Well, what I thought from the start was that it wasn't the story. It was, like, before the story of the game. So it was, like, when Edward Kimmel was a, was a sheep farmer and stuff. But um, that was part one, and I got to part two, and that sort of starts seeing at the beginning of the, of the game. Oh, so okay. I'm thinking maybe it is also the game, because it's the bit where... Um, the bit at the very start when the when you're fighting that ship and then the fire barrels explode. Right. Okay. And it's the bit where you're fight, um, chasing Duncan Warple. Okay, and Sebastian, have you read anything interesting this week? Yeah. Yeah, well, what have you read? Um, Lies We Tell Ourselves. I'm pretty sure it's going to... I'm pretty sure it's entering into the Concord Book Awards. Oh, right, okay. And uh, what's it about? Uh, civil rights and integrating into a white school. Oh, okay, sounds interesting. Yeah, oh, who, I did that in history last year. Who's the author of that? Robin Tawley. Ah, okay. Excellent. All right, should we get into the movie news then? Yep. News that Joss Whedon, your favourite guy is. Yeah, Joss Whedon. He's Joss Whedon. He Joss is Whedon. the producer of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Uh-huh. And he uh, directed the first two Avengers movies. Did he? I yeah. Didn't know that. Yeah. Um, he wants to direct a Star Wars movie. That would be pretty cool. Do you think it's about? Well, it, he doesn't want to do one of those normal Star Wars movies, like episode something. He wants to do like a Rogue One type thing, so a spin-off right. movie. Um, just a quick question. Why does it always say Rogue One is Star Wars story? Is it saying that because like it's not part of the main thing? No, because it's a spin-off, and I just want to say, look, it is part of Star Wars, because okay. it's not called Star Wars Episode something, so they just say yeah. it's a Star Wars story. Yeah, well, I originally thought it was, like, Episode 3 point... No, hang on, 3.5, but uh, my uh, my friend, who's a fellow nerd, said, well, <laughs> actually, it's more like 3.7, because 3.5 is Star Wars Rebels. Oh, is it? 3.7. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, because you know Rebels. 3.75, then. Yeah, you, you know Rebels? Yeah. Remember, yeah, that, that series... That's more in between, so... But anyway, yeah, looking looking forward to that, and, um... Yeah, just waiting to be cool. When are they going to make Han Go Solo? I think that's coming up. Yeah, they... I don't think... Yeah. I like that title, actually. Yeah, they, Han um... Solo. Yeah, because yeah. the, the Han Solo Solo movie is going to be, um... Han Solo Solo movie. Yeah, that, that's... They've just added a new guy in, into it called Donald Glover. Who is playing Han you know, Solo? Because... Han um, Solo is this guy called Aaron... Aaron Reich. Does he look anything like, um, like well, uh, what's his name, Harrison Ford? Yeah, sort of. He kind of does. Um, but they've also cast Lando Calrissian. Do you remember Lando? Lando. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I, Lando. I like his hair. Yeah, Cloud City Ooh, guy. I wonder if, uh, Cloud City um, guy. Now, he is uh, Donald Glover that they just cast uh, in um, him right. to play uh, Lando Calrissian. Do you, know, do you remember Donald Glover? Do you know what he's from? No. He was that scientist guy in The Martian who did the calculations about the calculating. Oh, yeah. oh the guy who did the thing with the pen. He was like... Yes, yeah. No, the pen guy. it was one of those staple things. Well, yeah, whatever it A was. A staple. Yes, um, that piece of stationery. Um, yeah, he, he's that guy. So, uh, yeah, he's, he's going to be pretty good, I think. Yeah, he went to Staples. And anyway, we've got the new... Uh, did you see the new Rogue One trailer? I yes, I think so. so. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, a proper... it's, um Yeah, there's mo- a lot more footage of the Death Star, which yeah, I quite like. Yes, and there was a lot more about the story. So yeah, they got into dad. the story and the, yeah, they showed uh, Jen also and her dad and where they used to live um, yeah. and when she was so young. So I'm guessing, like... The Empire kidnaps their dad, then black to male, blackmails him into making the Death Star. Something like that, yeah. That's yeah. what it looks like, yeah. That's, that's what it looks like. Oh, I've heard other things, but uh, yeah, we, we can go with that. Maybe they're not blackmailing him. Maybe he is. Sec- maybe he was secretly working for them and they turned on him. And then he wants to continue his work or something. Mm. Well, we could try and guess these things, but let's just wait until... <laughs> we'll just do some uh, speculation. Yeah, we don't want to do any more jacket speculations. Uh, see, <laughs> this is a, this is Donald Glover, so... Oh, right, Lando he's going to be Lando. Yeah, he looks, he looks like Lando. Yeah, he'll be a good Lando, I think. Yeah, I wonder if Jabba the Hutt would be in it. Um, or Greedo, possibly. M- oh, I don't know, maybe. They might want to save um, 
Jabba the Hutt for the episode ones, you know, the main ones. Yeah. Did he mean Slimer? Oh no, but they killed him in episode six. Yeah, but he's got he's got relatives or no, something, they, isn't he? They killed they killed Jabba the Hutt in episode six. Yeah, I remember uh, when Leia strangled him. Yeah, Princess Leia strangled, and then oh, yeah. that was just like uh, then his ship blew up. That was yeah. like uh, uh, Joker's escape in Arkham Asylum. I don't just realized that. So is Leia like Harley Quinn? No, is that Joker? Okay. Because cause he strangles the prison guard and the doctor's like, oh, I'm a doctor, I can't do anything. Mm. And they're like, oh, I'm bad. Okay, well, we're looking forward to that. And uh, But the next Logan trailer, what do you think? Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. It does look good, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah he's, he's, it looks like his healing power is dampening. Something like that. And uh, I like that guy's robotic hand. Yeah. And it looks like he's uh, got a sidekick, that, that girl who's probably going to be, is that Weapon, is that weapon 23? Well, the, next the girl looked like Sorry. she was something between five and six. But that was from the post-credits of um, uh, Apocalypse. Really? That was a girl? No, no, the, where, where the, the guy gets this, the Weapon X serum. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah I'm yeah, liking some post-credits. Post-credits are awesome. Mm. There yeah. always references to next movies. Yep, and... um. We see Professor X has got hair. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on with well, that? Well, maybe there's going to be um, Lo- wait, no, uh, Wolverine uh, in between the Wolverine and Logan apocalypse when there's going to be another hair backstory. Yeah. And you'll have to lose this hair, this new hair. Yeah. Do you think he's going to lose hair this time? Maybe, uh, maybe another, maybe, maybe a godly creature from space sends down all Six infinity stones, and you're like, and he's like, you shall have hair. Well, the only remaining for infinity stone that we haven't seen currently is the soul. Interesting. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Maybe maybe there's like a one of those minor mutants that just has the power of hair. The power of hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, 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 uh, well, he likes rabbits. Well, we are yet to see that, but um, we've got uh, we've got the, we've got the Logan picture. Oh, that looks quite cool. Um, it looks like. Because in the trailers, it looks oh, this looks like he was younger. And uh, um, this confirms Reavers. Do you know what Reavers are? Nope. Robotic people. Uh, they no. mangled and replaced their limbs with robotic stuff. Uh, I don't think that's what they are, but they are a militant group, apparently, and their mission is to destroy mutants. Well. And they conduct their operations in the style of commandos. I bet that's going to be that scene, which there is in every single X-Men movie ever, with, uh, with um, what's his name, Professor X sitting in... Uh, Losing his hair. <laughs> With <laughs> Professor X sitting in. How could I forget the name? Um, you know the the big thing. Oh, Cerebro. Cerebro. He's gonna be sitting in Cerebro, and um, he's hair. gonna be doing. <laughs> and then he's gonna be doing some monologuing while like the mutants are gonna be fading away. You know, that's that's always there. Him monologuing while they're in Cerebro. It's always there. Wasn't there an X Men First Class? Yeah. Um, yeah, it's definitely in first place. I know. I don't one. think he. I don't think the mutants were fading away. We well, you know I when they die, they fade away just because Cerebro. Yeah. Yeah, but um, they normally have a a, a a bit where Cerebro gets smashed up, isn't yeah. there? <laughs> There's definitely gonna be. That's like that's like Iron Man's systems failing. There's definitely gonna be some of that. There's some yeah, there's some some destruction of uh, of Cerebro. And those sort of um and those speedometers are gonna be flying around. What are they gonna do next? They're gonna have like, so Cerebro is gonna be you know one of those. Projector things, those projectors, sort of cloth projector screens. Okay. That would be the new Cerebro. Yeah. Well, we'll just Make sure. With his, with his yeah, but I mean, was Cerebro in the original X Men films? Yes. Well, then Apocalypse has broken everything because Havoc wreaks havoc in um in Cerebro. Yeah, well, I think um um, Cerebro is in, in every X Men film. That's uh, I think that's that's for for sure. But yeah, these Reavers they look quite interesting. But those were the, those guys from the the trailer that were oh, yeah. kept on putting on sunglasses and things. Yeah. Wasn't uh, it that guy with the robotic hand? Wasn't he, isn't he a Reaver? I'm not sure about that. Well, I've, I've never actually heard of Reavers before. We have to check. But there, there, also, there's this guy called um, Caliban. Do you know Caliban? Oh yeah, from Apocalypse, yeah, right? I know. Yeah. So that's that apocalypse guy. Now, so this this guy's going to be playing him. Um, oh, is that a different this name? Yeah, this is a guy called Stephen Merchant. Oh, are they going to do some? Is that without special effects? Because I remember in Apocalypse, his eyes were sort of like bulging. Yeah, I think that's that's just his makeup. I think. Yeah, he look he looks kind of like like Joker with nothing on, no tattoos, no hair. You know. Yeah. Oh, Joker has a tattoo. 
From Z- Suicide Squad Joker. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, he looks quite scary there. Oh, there's another picture. Oh, that, he looks like the uh, the Grey Goose from Malcolm Knight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's true. I he was actually in the Batman. original Batman animated as well. Hmm. Okay, okay, so well, that, 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 that'll be exciting, the new Logan film. Looking forward to that one. Mm. Uh, and we also had a new Assassin's Creed trailer. Oh, did we? Yeah, didn't you see it? Oh, yeah, yeah, I watched that, yeah, after the email you sent. Yeah, it was a while, it a looked, few days ago. Yeah. It looks awesome. It's um, a lot more anima- like outside Animus footage, the uh, Astogo footage. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, Still lots I, of Animus footage, but... I don't think it was as good as, as that first trailer, though. No, the first one was definitely good when he says the Leap of Faith. Yeah, but did you notice that, that at the end of it, when he did the Leap of Faith, in the first trailer, he was leaping faithing off um, a, like a big cathedral type thing. And in this trailer, he's leaping and faithing off some sort of... like Owl? No, it's just like um, scaffolding. So it's like... It's, it's oh, there's going to be multiple leap of, leap of Faiths. Oh, okay. Definitely. Right. Well, probably there'll be one dramatic one, which is the cathedral one. Yeah. And then there'll be small, small ones, which are the scaffolding ones. I wonder... Even though scaffolding didn't exist back then. I wonder how many eagles are going to be flying around the place. I mean, there are always eagles. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I think there was a, the, a eagle in the first trailer. Yeah, when yeah. Was the leap there of definitely was an eagle, but there'll definitely be loads of eagles. Yeah. yeah. Have a pet eagle. And I actually Maybe. wonder if they actually do do the thing where they put the uh, blood on the feather. Because that's a classic Assassin's Creed. Thing. Which Ooh, right, yeah. Um, well, well basically, the Assassin's someone. Creed um, in the universe, I don't say, the Assassin Bureaus have a feather, uh, no, a bird, and they send them out to, like, things, and the Assassins get the bird, and the bird has the note of the person they need to assassinate, so the Assassin raises the note, then takes a feather off of the bird, kills the guy, gets the guy's fe- blood on a feather, then takes it back to the Bureau. And you said Assassins were messed up. You might have said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, well, that's that's out on 1st of January, so um, um, expect a thorough review when that comes out. Agreed. And we had uh, another trailer, Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Volume, yeah, volume, volume 2. 2. Looks awesome. It looks like they're um doing... Well, I mean, for the trailer when they're on that jungle planet, it looks like they're sort of doing exploration, like a Star Trek type thing. I think it kind of looked a bit too serious. I mean, no, the trailer it's all those old things and everything. I mean, it just didn't... I think it just didn't have much of that Guardians of the Galaxy in it. Just, I liked yeah. it. I like thought it was really good actually because it had the same it had the same uh, sort of Guardians of the Galaxy music and they were cracking yeah. jokes. And I uh, like I can't remember because it was a few days ago. But, was uh, there yeah, Baby Groot there or normal? Baby Groot group was there at the end. Remember yeah. Rocket, Rocket Raccoon and he he looked like he had some sort of a Star Lord jacket on. So it looks like his face got there. We can re- re- reignite the, the hashtag jacket speculation. Yeah, yeah, jacket speculation. <laughs> Are we speculating that that's a Star Lord jacket just made small? <laughs> Is it a fin jacket? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe, yeah. But yeah, looking forward to, to Guns of the Galaxy. That looks really good. I yeah, point. Too. Assassins. And uh, there was a, a new poster out. Um, did you see that Guns of the Galaxy poster? Uh, no. Um, it, was, it was pretty cool. It was like, uh, there were, it was just black and white with showing the Guardians. And um, yeah, it was, it was pretty awesome. It looks um, pretty cool. Got Yon- some... Yondu's in there for some reason. And yeah, the uh, Gamora's sister, the blue thing. Yeah, the blue thing. Yeah. I-, I swear she died though. She fell. Out... Well, she fell out of Ronin's ship. The uh, A A something, isn't it? The Asterix. I don't think she died. Did we didn't see her die. Her so, arm was um... ripped off. Oh, she... though. Her really? arm was ripped off. Oh yeah. And then her head got a good battering. She fell off from about a million meters into a flaming mass. I can't of remember ships. actually. So um. Yeah. Well, well she's, she's actually quite pretty messed up because I remember. When Ronin like snapped one of Thanos's thugs, and and she was like modifying her arm, and she heard the next time, and she was like, "Yes, yes," and she looked up. Uh, well, ap- apparently, um, there there was a sort of like a death count of uh, all the the Marvel movies. Death count of what people or heroes? Because um, no heroes have died ever. Well, just just of like things or like i don't know aliens or something but guardians of the galaxy has the most on-screen deaths in film history apparently really yeah well they are criminals i guess i would have thought um something like uh like a man of steel surely he killed about 30 buildings yeah well it's got a list here i don't know how how good this list is guardians of the galaxy is at number one with 83,871 on-screen deaths what then we've got dracula untold how do they even count that that's just so much less where is um yeah um, How, who's calcu- who is calculating this because like in um man of steel when you watch that kill count like how, for one you don't know how many people was in the building so it just went to uncalculated but yeah because I, I remember when the city it is blew very up. highly suspect because avengers has only a thousand 
That's a thousand. Maybe? How did somebody? Wait, but I swear in the trailer for um Civil War, it had like a death count of all the people who died from each of the incidents, and it said that only twenty nine people died. Ah, I don't okay. know. I don't know. Well, I, I don't think we can trust that. Um, no, that just looks weird. It does look a bit weird. So, um, in the tradition of um, the podcast, we need to have uh, news on your favourite director, Kim. Oh, of course. And, yeah, <laughs> Zack Snyder. <laughs> He's shared a new photo of Wonder Woman in Justice League. She looks like she's been younger by it since Batman. She looks like me. she's sitting on a very bad quality cat. Oh, no, because her hair was put over that uh, tiara, is it called? Look, they pulled it back. It it look yeah, that one, yeah. Well, she doesn't look the same, I really. think, you know, the costume looks good. Everything yeah, looks looking normal. good. So yeah. that's just fingers crossed. Let's hope Wonder Woman's a good film. What I don't like about um, Thing is on the uh, DVD for Batman v Superman, there's Batman and Superman, and then just Wonder Woman standing right in front of them. I mean, it's stupid. Everything about Zack Snyder is stupid. They should be Batman and <laughs> Superman in the front, with Wonder Woman trying to poke. With Wonder Woman poking her head out the side and trying to do that way. No, it should be the like uh, the back of the Arkham Knight packet. So there's Batman facing the Arkham Knight and then Scarecrow looking down. It should be like that. But Batman facing Superman with Wonder Woman looking down. But yeah, the costume looks just pretty much the same, really. I think, I think they put some detail on the tree up, though. Yeah, anyway, well, that's that. So, um... The tiara looks kind of weird. What else is there? Here we have uh, Zack Snyder, your um, your man, your main man, Karen. <laughs> Why? Um, <laughs> he's apparently shared some uh, footage because um, the uh, Justice League film has been ha has stopped filming. Oh, they wrapped it. They've wrapped it. Yeah. Well, that took a short amount of time. I'm sure they just put on whatever rubbish. So, what do you think of that new footage of uh, the Justice League? Um. Yeah, you know. Well, it looks promising. It looks kind yeah. of fun. Yeah, well, Batman v Superman looks promising, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, true. But um, you know, you've got to you've got to keep keep your hopes up high. I didn't really like the Flash's costume. It looked a bit too, like sort of, padded or armored. Well, I just hope that it's good for Zack Snyder's snake, 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 for his own sake. <laughs> yes, for his snake. For his snake. Does he have a snake? Did, they, ha did uh, they have a snake on set or something? They, they probably have a snake on set. I, I wonder how many people are going to die. Like, but with Batman teaming up with Superman. <laughs> oh, man. You know what I'm and then, so, Eesh. your next Zack Snyder news, Kieran, we have uh, the um, reveal of Mira. Who? This is Mira uh, from Justice League, who is, uh, I think she's the wife of Aquaman. Oh, yeah, she looks like something aquary in that picture. I think she just looks like a human wearing a giant fish. She looks See, kind of like sure, Catwoman from not the sure Dark Knight about Rises, the don't you? Costume because she's supposed to be like, um, you know, streamlined and like aquary, but that looks a bit bulky, don't you think? I, think she just looks I like hate the way Aquaman looks. He does not look like a like a, a fishy person. He looks like some sort of warrior from from. Uh, uh, he looks like uh, what's this called? Lobo. He looks I, like Logan. He does a bit, yeah, but I think he looks. I think Aquaman looks awesome. Yeah. He looks just like get the costume from Teen Titans Go. Yeah, he looks awesome. I mean, as just a costume, he looks awesome. As Aquaman, he looks rubbish. But the costume is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, well, I think. Um, Wait, Mira has a cape? You can't swim with a cape. Yeah, yeah exactly. That's just yeah. the stupidest. Well, don't you remember the number one rule? All superheroes that actually, you know, have to be superheroes, they have to get a cape. So, you watched the Power Rangers um, trailer, what do you think of that? Yeah, Power Rangers film! Oh. I remember when I was like really young, I was like a small person, I um, watched Power Rangers, some series, there's like a zillion, jillion, million different series, it's like, uh, anyway, um, I watched some series, the one with someone who could who had glasses and a hand could come off, which was pretty awesome, and I really enjoyed Power Rangers. Yeah, I mean, it does look promising, it's just that... Isn't Power Rangers sort of more like a young person's thing? Well, yeah, well, someone um, I know pointed out that, like, everyone was a criminal. Like, they were in some sort of... I know. Um, ...young offenders thing. So, uh, well, it might be just some redemption thing, you know? Redemption and um, um, thing. Because, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, well, um... Like, Ant-Man. I was never into Power Rangers. Um, I like Power Rangers. 
Well, it, it, the, the trailer looks perfectly fine. You know, looks yeah. looks pretty good. I think. Um, yeah, yeah, I like I like Marriage. So I think well, you know, we'll we'll watch that. We will watch it in cinema. So. I really hope they do the thing where they all go together and. Oh no! Is that Transformers? That that's Power Rangers. Oh yeah, no, that is Power Rangers. Where they all go together and form like that mess, ma, ma, mess, massive, mega thing. Yes. Yeah. No, that's Power Rangers. I want, I hope they still have those really really corny effects. No, no, they'll they'll, they'll make it good. So the first trailer was um, Arrival, a new Denny Villeneuve film. Would you reckon to that one? Lois Lane. Starring Lois Lane and Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Oh, cool. It looks like, um, kind of like ish. What was the film? Uh, like Resurgence? Yeah, fair enough. Which one was Resurgence? That's Independence, Independence, Independence Day 2, yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, kind of, I think. Like, sort like, of like, like with, the, with, the, with the scientist guy. I think it's more about like communication and things like that. Yeah, She's yeah. some sort of communications expert. But um, it looks like. I think it looks like it might be a bit more um, um, interesting than. Independence Day Two Resurgence. Well, it looks like it's not. It's a, it's less action, more sort of thinking. Probably yeah, but that that might, might be quite good, you know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll definitely check that out. I think it looks a bit like Attack of the Whales. Whales. What's that? Those big stones. I think they. I think they look like whales. Don't feel like that thing off Oblivion, did not it? Oh yeah, it did kind of look a bit like Oblivion-y. Yeah, very good. Yeah. So. Um, oh, it does. We also saw the trailer for Resident Evil, the final chapter. I bet you it's not going to be the final chapter, though. What, what even is Resident Evil? Is it like a series of films or what? Um, it's probably the most successful video game to movie franchise that there, there's ever been. Oh, it was a video game and then a movie. Yeah, it was a video game and then they made loads of movies out of it, always starring that Mila Jovovich. And uh, yeah, so... Um, you, did you like to look at that, Sebastian? Is that something you'd like to watch? <laughs> uh, yeah? she, it looks like yeah. she's addicted to that three-barrel shotgun. Yeah, well... Um, like, every shot is practically her shooting her three-barrel shotgun. Like... <laughs> okay. Well, That's going to be half the movie. M- it might be interesting. Might wait for that to just come on DVD or yeah. TV or something. Whatever. We'll yeah. see about that. And we had the interesting trailers, teaser and the trailer, for this new Russian film called Attraction. That looks it's pretty the cool. this time. Yeah, but that looks pretty good. I yeah, think. it does actually. Yeah. Because um, looks pretty interesting. Mm. Um, as long as they put, get some subtitles on there, then um, yeah. yeah, definitely. Um, because it looks like um, I'm thinking of the film where I, I can't think of it. It's, it's gonna... Re- resurgence. No, no, not resurgence. Where? Well, there's another sort of yeah, uh, smashing up buildings. <laughs> Spaceship smashing up buildings. That was in uh, Man of Steel as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Go count right there. Yeah. Anyway, okay, that was uh, that was quite good. Yeah. And then we also had that uh, trailer for Rock Dog. What dog? Remember Rock Dog? Rock. Oh yeah, Disney are running out of ideas. Is that a Disney film, Rock Dog? Probably. Oh. It's an animated, stupid-looking film. It's animated. It's Disney. Yeah. Do you, you don't 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 like the <laughs> the look of it? Well, I think the next Disney movie is going to be like a, a, I don't know, a fish, right? Who needs to wear goggles because it doesn't like the, the salt water on its eyes. It's going to be bullied by all the... Like, it's probably going to be a small fish, like a small fish. It's going to be bullied by all the haddocks and cods and stuff, you know? That is going to be the next Disney movie. I, I'm, get, I'm, I'm, I'm calling that... That is the next Disney movie. So, in other words, you liked the rock dog or not? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no, no, okay. So, you no. see, a, a, a guard dog who wants to be a, a what was it, a musician? I mean, it's, 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 oh, oh, my God, oh, yeah. I, oh. I think it's Disney. It's an animated, stupid little film, but m- morals with pets. Well, but Zootopia was good. Yeah, oh, so Zootopia was excellent, yeah. Should we go get on to that? Zootopia. Yeah, that was actually a really awesome film. Um, I enjoyed that a lot. It was very funny, very... It, it was like the detectiveness was cool. It was like an episode of Gotham but with pets. <laughs> yeah, it was it was really good, and uh, there was like a really good message in there. Um, what was the message? Just like you know, no matter how. Oh yeah, uh, I don't like messages. Yeah, well that that was in there, but it wasn't too cheesy. It wasn't. No, it wasn't. It wasn't like um like a really moral field. Oh, I was yeah, yeah, well there was a hint of moral in there. Yeah, yeah but, but it was I mean, also it was also good fun as well. I really enjoyed that. Film. Yeah, it was pretty good. Like yeah. like um everyone can enjoy that. It's not like it's all. Thing. It's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it's a really good film. So definitely a recommendation. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, what, what the story was? So there's the there's the bunny and uh, she the, wants to be. A, she wants to be a police detective, but just, no but bunnies she's aren't a bunny. supposed to. Yeah, and all of that. Yeah, sorry and, about that. That's like saying a two year old wants to be. Yeah. So the wants big, to join the military and be the guy with the flamethrower. So the big uh, rhino, who's the boss of the police, says um, that she can be a meter maid or whatever. It's a bull. Bull. Yeah. No, it's, it's a, a wildebeest. There are too many animals, I don't care. Let's just call it the, the commissioner. I don't know anything about animals. So the commissioner makes her a meter maid and she's like, yeah, I'm going to make a thousand tickets before daylight. And she was 200 before dawn. Yeah. But, um... Yeah, wh- whatever. It doesn't really matter about that stuff, <laughs> Gina. Um, so, yeah, okay. That, that, that's definitely a recommendation. What else is a recommendation that we've seen? Midnight Special. Midnight Special. You guys, right. did, you guys can stay awake to, to finish it. I know. It. We fell asleep. Because uh, I, 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 I went, watched it until midnight. Yeah, yeah I, I so, stayed up all the way to midnight to watch it because I was... It, it was awesome. We'll have to revisit it and go back to it. So, um, <laughs> well, I'm just saying it was it's awesome. It's a bit like something Disney would make. Were, were there some, any spoilers in there? Did, 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 did you, would you, uh, was it like any twists at the end there? Um, what did you fall asleep? Um, I think when they were like in that hotel, that perhaps. I well, basically, like two uh, I would say twist. Classes. Like you know, you know, there's something wrong with the boy. You know, there's something weird with the boy. Yeah. I so I would say twist. Close. Like you, there's, I won't, You find out what happens, and I, but I wouldn't call that a twist because you know there's something wrong. So I call it more of a revelation. Ah, oh, I see. Okay, so something gets resolved. Of the, the, okay. Yeah, but uh, it's it's good. It's good. Okay. Well, we'll we'll uh, we'll. Tr- Go back and we'll report back to you, Kieran, about uh, if, if you like. It's awesome. Okay, and we also had um, you wanted to say something about Allegiant because you saw that at school. Ah! Terrible, terrible. I liked Divergent and I liked Insurgent, but Allegiant was absolutely rubbish. Like, um, for example, you know uh, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Through about halfway through the film, they established the bad guys Hydra. And that they're going to use the missiles on the helicarriers to kill everyone. Okay. And through the final battle, you know that's going to happen, right? You know the importance of the final battle, right? Yeah. 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 With this film, they have some twist, what's got nothing to do with the film. I mean, like, the rest of the series. And stuff. Um, well, basically, it's set after they win the rebellion. But there's a rebellion in the series. I don't know. Anyway, they win the rebellion, but then some sort of civil war inside the rebellion or something, and then they, then they escape somewhere, and then literally the final battle. They you find out what the evil plan is pretty much as it's being put into motion. So I don't even know what's going on. It's so rubbish. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't sound great. So I think we'll give we'll give that a miss. But yeah, uh, but the other two films were really good. Yeah, yeah. You did see another good one at school there, didn't you? Wasn't it called April and the Extraordinary oh, World? Oh, yeah, steampunk. Yeah, it was awesome because we we're having like a steampunk thing at school because school is awesome. So what um what's the, what's this film about? Well, it's like um, where it's a steampunk. Yeah. And I don't know the original sort of law of steampunk. I don't know if, know if there even is any law. But in this film, they sort of make up some law. I don't know if it's right or whatever. Um, that uh, that during some kind of war, a scientist was forced into trying to make a serum which makes everyone invincible, but he does it wrong and makes like a dragons, I think. And the dragons, the dragons escape and kill that scientist, and then um, then scientists start disappearing. And, um, meaning there are no scientists to progress, uh, technology, I guess. So, obviously, that's the, how Steampunk came around. And then it's, uh, April, who was the scientist at the beginning who was killed. That scientist's granddaughter. And she's trying to find her parents and, and stuff. And it's, it's actually very confusing and there's twists and stuff. But they make, an, they, they make the ultimate serum. And then the dragons are actually good and they're kidnapping the scientists. So that they can put the vines on a rocket and give the rocket um, the ultimate serum and then go, make the rocket go up and then blast, bl- blow up so the vines go over it into space so there's more life. Oh, right. And there's this funny cat, which is awesome. The invincible cat throughout the film. And oh, right. I get stranded on Mars, which is quite funny. So, so there's yeah. definitely it's, a recommendation it's, on that one. It's, uh, yeah, it's French. The cat gets it was pretty stranded cool. on Mars. Yeah, it's so cool as well because it, it's a sort of futuristic thing, obviously. Well, futuristic steampunk, so futuristic, which isn't futuristic. So there's um, double Eiffel Towers. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, that, that was pretty cool. Oh, um, okay. 
yeah, so I just, very awesome, very, very, it's funny, and it's serious, and it's twisty, and it's action packed, so. Cool, okay, well, I'll definitely give that a watch, yeah. Excellent. And uh, I think we did watch another film, um, Kingsglaive, a final fantasy. Oh, uh, yeah, that was awesome. All the films are awesome these days. Yeah, did you? Except for DC films. You really enjoyed that? Yeah, yeah, that was awesome. I don't know anything about Final Fantasy. We've got some Final Fantasy game somewhere. Yeah, somewhere. We've got we'll Project Sorry. So, yeah, that, that was, um, so, so there's, there was like a, a sort of story going on there. Yeah, and, I don't uh, know if, what, if it's got any anything to do with the games or if it's a completely different thing. Yeah, and the main character, the main, the king guy, not the main character, but the king in it, he was played by Sean Bean. And do you know what Sean Bean's famous for doing? Nope. Dying. <laughs> in what? Or in films and TV, in everything. He's famous for dying. That's okay, okay. Well, nice. Um, the spoilers, obviously. Yeah, spoiler, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. yeah did, so yeah. the king, the king does die. He does die in the It's spoilers. a, yeah. What? And it's got like Lena Headey in it as well. Yeah, it's got some. Uh, Aaron Paul, you remember Aaron Paul from um, Need for Speed? Oh, Need for Speed film? was cool. I don't know who Aaron Paul is. Um, he's that. He's the main guy in oh, Need for Speed. I think it's a different story because from what I've heard, you always play as a woman in Final Fantasy. Well, it was it wasn't it wasn't it was just a film about sort of the the, the world and stuff like that. Yeah. Know. Well, I um, what was I going to say? Um. Something, something, go on. <laughs> Sorry, I Final Fantasy. Um, uh, yeah, I've forgotten what I was going to say. Yeah, so yeah, the King's Glaive, they are like the sort of um, the, the protectors of yeah, the king. Yeah, all the glaives and stuff. The glaives, and there's, and the, there's some sort of war about the crystal or something. Yeah, there's some sort of cr the crystal that powers the, the, the like force field that keeps the city safe, and then they break yeah. in by trying to uh, do a peace. Treaty. Do a peace treaty, but then everyone do, yeah, does the does do, double crossing, stuff. double crosses them. Yeah, everyone double crosses each other. Yeah, and everyone just uh, yeah, but uh, it's a good good film. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And at times something... I thought there was slightly too much going on. There's just and so at much times, happening at, at, at times, the same uh, time. I thought it was a, f a few flaws, only minor flaws, because it was a very good film. But a few sort of small things. I can't really think of any, but there were a few things which were, you know, not right. But apart from that, yeah. I really like the magic, especially that dagger, what um, they throw. Like, yeah, the teleportation dagger type. That thing. wasn't something that gets old. I mean, like uh, in Doctor Strange, obviously you used the same weapon, which was kind of boring. But that teleportation dagger, that was always awesome. They used about 20 times, but it's still awesome. That's true. Yeah, I what? kind of wish that once he got on the ring, he got some sort of crazy power or something. Not like just yeah. the lightning bolt and... That yeah, like in Guardians of the Galaxy, that would be cool. Yeah. Well, anyway, yes, we did see Doctor Strange as well, but you can catch that in our spoiler special podcast, which you can find on iTunes and everywhere else. So, yeah, give that a listen if you want to hear what we have to say about Doctor Strange. So, well, let, let's move on to uh, short films. We watched the film Look I Lookouts, and that's, uh, that's on uh, Vimeo, Vimeo by Redgate Films. Um, and it's about like a troop of young scouts um, getting ambushed by this crazy uh, like creature type thing. Yeah, like a, one of those mystical things, like a, a peregrine, was it? Or the basilisk. basilisk. Oh, I, I know it's called basilisk, but what's that? Like a the the line with wait, I forget it. I, I don't know anything. Called a basilisk as a sea creature now. Basilisk is pretty much used for every single name ever because basilisk is also the name of a suicide squad villain. Oh, right. Well, it's basically like a beast that can t turn people into... Um, stone. Into stone, that's right, yeah. It's not like... And Ma Medusa. Well, yeah, but she has the snake hair, don't she? Yeah, she's got the snake hair, and, yeah. all, and you also turned it to stone with her, I think. But that's as soon as she looks at you, they, they the basilisk sort of has to breathe on you. Ah, right, yeah, that's no, true. No, I thought the basilisk has to... Eye, you know, eye to eye. Oh, no, right. no, no, I, I thought I saw him breathing on him. Because Medusa's definitely eye to eye, but the basilisk is in there. But uh, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Mm, yeah. yeah, I liked that a lot because I didn't really get the story until I thought about it a few times after I, after I watched. Oh, uh, yeah, it was just one of those short things, though. Yeah, the jumping back and forth. I didn't really get. Yeah, there was. Yeah, there was I quite like that though. It's like a prestige type, type thing. thing. Exactly, I like those yeah. kind of ones. Mm. But yeah, so check that out on uh, Redgate Films on Vimeo. So we also had news of a uh, new um, series on Netflix from Lemony Snicket and yeah. his series of unfortunate events. I read the books. Well, not really. I like, I'm a fan of series of unfortunate events, but I, I don't. I like them. I'm. I, I don't. I don't buy them. I don't ask for them for Christmas. It's just that. Uh, I think I read one once, and I was like, "Yeah, this is cool." What are they about, normally? Um, was well, about the. Well, I just want. 
say that I don't read them in order or whatever. It's just that if I find them in the library and I have to get a book for some school thing, I will get it because I like it. I've read 1, 2 and 11, you I've know. I've read 1, 2, 3, 4, 12 and I believe 13. So what are they about? So there are it's these basically... three orphans yeah. who's... Um, or an evil yeah, orphan parent. Yeah, because they're... Um, their parents died in the fire. Well, actually, we watched a film of it. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Yeah. And uh, in that film, it turned out that the the um the bad, the the bad evil uh guy had set fire to the house, which killed their parents. But I don't know anything about the books. Um, but yeah, this evil guy, uh, Count Olaf, he was in the first book, and he was he's very mean. And um, in each book, the children go to different uh like foster parents or, or adoptive I, I don't know i don't know yeah foster parents. Yeah, okay whatever and and they're all sort of relatives but they're really far out relatives i think it's set in victorian something yeah. well it's set in the old days so they're really far out relatives and um some of them are bad and they're nice like uh, the second one was some snake enthusiast or something snake enthusiast. well like Zack snyder <laughs> <laughs> anyway anyway this evil guy count olaf he he just basically because obviously these boudelaire orphans are rich um, and the Count Olaf wants to get their money, so he just tries to get them in all ways, like, get a submarine in one of the books or something. Mm, okay. Yeah. Doesn't he keep on trying to murder them? Well, no, what he tries to do is he tries to... Well, I don't know how he gets the money. He's very smart. He he, he thinks out elaborate plans. Because in the first one, he got... He was going to get um some... He was going to marry the oldest person who was marry the oldest orphan called Violet so that he could get the money or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, that know. looks interesting. So yeah, um, it's going to be in Netflix in January. So yeah, then. I just want to say the trailer is awesome. There are loads of Easter eggs. Uh, you, you know the chairs and they have names on them? There, I saw when I was watching, I saw a Count Olaf trailer a chair and I saw like a, I think I saw a Monty check chair which was one of the uh, parents. So, Easter eggs there to be, to be looked at. Oh, right. Okay, cool. Yeah, looking forward to that then. Yeah. So moving on to TV news, um, we've got reports that um, there's going to be a Star Wars action live action TV series, yeah. but only after the, the movies. So that's a lot of time to wait, I think. Yeah, because they've confirmed 8 and Rogue. Have uh, they confirmed 9 as well? They've confirmed Rogue, Rogue so, and then 8 is coming out next year, and then there's going to be the Han Solo movie, Oh yeah. and then there's going to be 9. It's quite nice to see that Star Wars is doing other things now, though, because it, except for one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, those kind of things, um, with the movies, not the series, yeah. um, the series I, mm -hmm. it's quite good to uh, see that they're doing other ones instead Definitely. of just the episodes, because yeah. like Rogue and Han Solo goes solo, or whatever it is. Han Solo goes solo. Yeah, whatever. Um, apparently they they um, talking about doing a solo Obi-Wan Kenobi movie. Obi... That, that's mm. potentially one. I don't like the sound of that as a matter of fact. Wait, really? Yeah, he's he's sort of like a a trainer Jedi. Yeah, but it might he, be quite he, fun, you know, sort of Obi Wan Kenobi and how he, uh, I don't know, maybe before he met Anakin Skywalker, or when he's in the desert after he killed Anakin Skywalker. Well, maybe we uh, after have... after he just chopped off all his limbs for like the fiftieth time and, and <laughs> left him there. Yeah. Oh, he didn't really kill him though. Yeah, yeah. Maybe yeah. we could have a Mace Windu solo solo movie. That Mace be Windu masters the arts of sitting on a sofa. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah. Mace Windu is such an awesome lightsaber, but he's the most boring Jedi yeah. in the universe. They should have given. Yeah, but he he could attack the Emperor. He's not boring. He's well, awesome. no, he did attack it in that one film. But um, I I think they should have given it to a Jedi who actually did stuff. You know. Mm. Well, maybe okay. But I mean, obviously, in the in the Star Wars, um, what's it called, Clone Wars, that series, yeah. Um, uh, he's he crops up a lot in that because it's all the Jedi and stuff in it. To be honest, I really want to have a Yoda film, a film about Yoda. Um, that might that, be quite interesting. That I feel, I think that maybe would be too like comical for a Star Wars. Training. Film. Just have sort of Yoda in training. Yeah, <laughs> that would be like, like the beginning of time. Yeah, maybe. Well, that that might be quite interesting. Yeah. But let's move on to um, Flash, shall we? Yeah. Yeah, the Flash is cool. So, what did you think of the the new Flash? Because we watched season three, episodes one to three, didn't we? Yeah. Well, one thing I want to say first is that Barry Allen is the stupidest guy ever. I like the Flash yeah. series, but Barry Allen is pretty dumb. 
Uh, no. <laughs> Anybody that Barry is related to is stupid. Joe, stupid. Why is, Iris, why is Joe stupid? I think he's pretty good. Well, no, he? Joe, he's okay. Iris is stupid because she wants to go out with Barry and Barry's stupid. Wally, stupid. He's pretty dumb. How though. many cars does he step in front of every day? Yeah, no, nah, well, no, because I like I like the series though. Um, I would say everyone's stupid. Like, oh, no, no, um, everybody, no, isn't stupid. everybody apart from everybody is uh, that Barry is related to is stupid apart from Joe. What I liked is that um, because for a second I thought the entire series would be in Flashpoint and him sort of settling in, but that would have been boring. So I'm glad that was just the first episode. Yeah. Mm, okay. Well, um, yeah, I'm not, not that impressed. I. Uh... I really? I think it's pretty good. I think they're dragging it out a bit, and uh, I'm, I just don't know what's going on these days. Um, maybe I've. Uh... Well, maybe, maybe they're sort of trying to do what Gotham does. Insanity. Yeah. Perhaps. Season two started with maniacs, like the gang maniacs, spelled with an X, and finished with with monsters on a bus. What? Yeah. <laughs> well, any, anyway, we had the the new Legends of Tomorrow series, season two. Yeah. Of that. yeah. Awesome. Episodes one and two. Even though the yeah, um, yeah. end of Legends of Tomorrow, the end of the first series, that was absolute rubbish. Yeah. Um, I I quite liked the uh, the new series. Yeah, I thought it was quite good actually. When they had the they had the what are those other team of superheroes called? The Justice Justice Society of the, America or something. Yeah, JSA. JSA, yeah, Justice Society of America. They yeah, but the, interesting. The, it's obvious that they're going to bring back Rick Hunter. But why won't they bring back Captain Cold? He is the best. He Captain was the Cold best person was the, the best on the team because there were too many people. Wait, they got rid of. Did Kendra die at the end? Huh? Did Kendra die at the end? Kendra. Yes, yeah, well, she died. Kendra went point. off with what's his face. Oh yeah, because they, they, they started. Money. They oh, yeah. started with too many characters. Um, I think now they got a good number. I just wish, I just wish they replaced someone with Captain Cold. Yeah, or just brought Captain Cold back. He, he Actually, yeah, I'm yeah. sure he'll turn up. No, no, because because now, because at the start they had about twenty characters, and that was that was just boring because. Yeah. There wasn't any room for character for development they were just on any like, of them. You do but, that. You um, do that. With the new team, I uh, I like it, and I think if they did bring back Captain Cold, that'd be that'd be fine. You know? Yeah, they should replace. Well, they shouldn't replace, but they should. If anybody, they should probably replace that historian. Why don't they think he's going to be? Yeah, I, I think I, I think they're going to get rid of him soon. Yeah, he hopefully. might die. Yeah, because he's got that <laughs> t- that thing with his blood or something. So yeah, sure it doesn't. He, his scars don't heal. Is that some it, disease? Or yeah, it's called hemophilia. He, so he doesn't uh, blood clot, so he, he just bleeds. So Ew. yeah, they um, he's probably going to die at some point. Yeah. Yeah, but then it's probably going to be some. I hope when that happens. He's him. just annoying. He's yeah. like, okay, time to figure out how to save the universe. With my dog tags. <laughs> He's mad about his dog tags. Look, I have dog tags. Right, now yeah. you can let me into this top secret society. I'm definitely not working for the JSA. Dog tags says JSA. <laughs> and then we have Gotham. Yeah! yeah! I love Gotham. I love Gotham. Really? Well, I think what you don't like, Dad, is series Zai that are crazy. I like series like that. Gotham? That's probably why I like Buffy. Gotham is just completely bonkers. It's just nuts. <laughs> yeah, that's what, that's got, what I mean. You've got two Bruce Waynes. You've got like... Um, Correction, you've got Bruce Wayne and Batman. Maybe the two of them to merge together. There's no together. Batman in Gotham, Sebastian. I know. There's two Bruce Waynes. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Why is Bruce Wayne's like Batman? Your speculation, Invincible. your speculation, and that's what I was sort of thinking as well, was that they were actually going to kill the real Bruce Wayne because after the clone Bruce Wayne pulled some crazy stunts with fighting back there. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, I sort of thought that they might actually get rid of the real Bruce Wayne. Yeah, yeah maybe. But, um, yeah. Gotham... I, pers- I personally wouldn't mind that because Gotham is an insane show. It, it is insane, yes. I just like that. Yeah. I like shows that are insane. I, I want to see Bruce Wayne having tons of bats being flying at him. I like that they got rid of a bit of the gore because I remember in season one, it wasn't crazy. It was just like gore crazy. It's yeah. like, ha, we are making a show. We'll put gore everywhere. And well, they were They did try and make it a bit gory, didn't they? Yeah. They, they've got rid of it a bit. I mean, there's not eye gory, which I hated that. That, that was, I, I hated that. Um, yeah. But, uh, so I'm like, hello, my name is Fish Mooney. Stab! Stab! Especially when she spooned her eye out. I just, I hated uh, that story. Oh. I did not like that at all. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it didn't really contribute much to the actual show either, so. Well, I think I'll keep watching it only because you want to keep watching it. So, um, I'll yeah. watch it. If, if it wasn't for you, I'd probably 
give it a miss. But um, yep. Yeah, anyway, okay. That that, that uh, yeah, that was good. Can you give us a Buffy update, Kieran? What was the last Buffy you've been watching? Um. Uh. Well, I guess I've been watching a bit of season five. Bit of season five. Okay. What's happening? Any any new developments? Well, in season five, she finds out that uh, well, actually, she gets a sister. It's Buffy. She can get a sister with magic. It's possible. So she gets a sister, but I hate the sister. She's so annoying. She's Me like so half the in, in half the time. She's like, get out, get out, get out of my room. Oh. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I hate. Oh, her. Okay. Oh well, that's uh, <laughs> that's Joss Whedon's uh, first sort of show. Well, first. Yeah. Well, uh, no, I like I like um, I like Buffy. Mm, okay. uh, but I got one of the uh, season nine comics. <laughs> Oh, um, season nine comics. Well, because after season seven, they stopped making the show, but they continued to do it in comics. Oh, I see. Oh, okay. Where's that? Hmm. Well, we should move on to comics, and there's this Assassin's Creed comic. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, what uh, what is it all about? Uh, Assassin's Creed Awakening, it's called. Um. No, no. It looks really good. So yeah. Um, it, well, it looks like it's got about um five different variant covers I think it's already out because it says it's been a breakout franchise for Titan Comics and um, I might get one of those yeah maybe we should uh, just check it out and see uh, see how good it is yeah see what the story is and stuff yeah because obviously I've got uh, the book but I think that's uh, the entire story and more yeah okay well we'll definitely have to check that out um, yeah Assassin's Creed the comic book so yeah we'll have a yeah. the comic book the I like games, how they're expanding media and the media the, the book and then the film next well, next, next year, year, first day of next year. Yeah. Hmm, very interesting. What so what what comic have you been reading this this week, Kieran? Anything? Um. No, not really. I haven't. I've not really been reading any comics these these past few days. Oh right. Okay. I've read with my comics. Okay. Well, we'll we'll catch up with you next time about. Uh, I, I'm thinking of actually writing a comic. Um, I've got this book which is about writing comics and stuff. So I might I might I might make one. Oh, okay, that sounds interesting. Mm. Well, let us know when you do. Well, I'll probably do that once I finish my game. Oh, yes, yeah, so what, uh, give us, give us an update on your, your game. Um, it's very interactable. There's tons of stuff you can do. So, like, um, the, inter the items in your inventory are going to be interactable. So, if you have headphones, you can listen to the music on them. Or if you have... What's the name? You can write books and stuff like that. So, Ooh, right, I'm trying okay. to... Give a, lots of interactivity. I've I've added um, basketball into it. Oh right. Well, okay. So well, um, we and will. There's like that's on that's on Twine. That's the Twine uh, game. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I've put up a few betas for it as well. Oh right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so that's all like show up on the Twitter or something. Maybe cool. Uh, check check our Twitter for that. At, uh, what is um, what is the game called? The end. The end. Right. The yeah. story mode will only come out in the full game. Right. Yeah. So check that out and. Um, if you want us to uh, give you any news on any stories, can you do the hashtag KNS podcast and put that on Twitter and you can um, suggest what you'd like us to talk about or anything like that? Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about it because you're probably the only one watching. Mm, yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah. Listening? Oh, well, listening, yeah. Okay. So we'll move on to gaming news now. And uh, the, I think the biggest gaming story this week was the reveal of the new Nintendo console called the Nintendo Switch. It looks so cool. Do you think? Yeah. Okay, um, I'm not too sure about it. I think it looks a bit like a Wii U, which you stick in a charger and rip to pieces. Well, I think after about 30 hours of synchronization, then yeah, it'll be cool, you know? With those kind of things, you always have to sync it up lots of times, and it fails lots of times, you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah, I think, it, I think it would be cool once you've, once you've done all that. Well, they, I think they're going for the idea of, like, mobile gaming, so they want you to take it on the move and all that sort of thing. But, I mean, it just looked a bit too big to, if you want to, like, take it on the move. You might as well just take, like, a, an iPhone or, like, an iPad mini or something. I'd like to see you play Mario on an iPhone mini. Well, I'm sure there's some sort of emulator where you could jailbreak your phone and put a Mario on, but uh, yeah, whatever that is. I don't want to. I don't want to buy that thing just so I can play Mario on the go. I mean, I mean, just so you can play Mario ripped to shreds. Well, I, 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 I won't buy it. I just think I, I like the concept. You do okay. Well, um, it'd be interesting to to find out more about it because we just had that video and we're not really too sure what what it's all about. I, I saw on the trailer they were playing Skyrim on it. 
Did Skyrim you on a Wii? I didn't know you could do that. Exactly. So, oh, th there's actually um like a version of Arkham City on the Wii or something. So. Hopefully there won't be any motion controls. I hate motion controls. Well, I don't know. You never know with Nintendo. They'll... They're pretty weird. They are. We'll, we'll, have, to, we'll <laughs> have to see what, 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 ha what comes about of that gaming console. Uh, and I think that the next biggest, or perhaps even bigger than that gaming news, is that Red Dead Redemption 2 has been announced. It's like Cowboys, isn't it? Yeah, now that's Wild West game, and Red Dead Redemption was really good. It was one of the best games ever made. Um, and uh, everyone's really excited about this uh, number two. So, um, yeah, what, what do you think? It seems to be a resurgence of a lot of Wild West stuff these days. Well, I have no idea what Red Dead Redemption blah, blah, is. Um, but uh, I guess it's kind of popular. One of a YouTuber that I like, um, I saw he did a react video to it. So okay. I, I ran, but... One... Yeah, I just... I'm not really into these western style games. Was it a shooter time thing? Like yeah, with it's, Thunder Snoop? Yeah, I think it's a shooter, like open world uh, shooting type. It's um, like the bounty hunting thing. I'm not sure, we'll have to just wait and see. Well, I mean, you played the first one, didn't you? Yeah, 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 it's a sort of, well, it's just like a Wild West story. It sounds okay. Mm. Yeah, it sounds alright, actually. I, like, I'm not that into the Wild West, really. I mean, I like the Lone Ranger, but I won't call that Wild West, I'd call that. Well, perhaps we should try, um, we should... Give the original a, a, a try. We'll give it a shot. <laughs> mm, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Next, we have the Final Fantasy fifteen. Right, does anyone know about Final Fantasy fifteen? No. Um, you said something about the uh, post credits of the Final Fantasy film. That the post credits of that was something to do with... Yeah, with Kingsglaive, they had a, a bit at the end of the post credits there where it was the actual uh, game, I think. So Yeah, because it wasn't anything to do with the uh, film. So I think it's about the prince and he has to travel across... Um, the land to go get married or whatever. Oh. Well, yeah. Any, any idea about this Final Fantasy I'm 15? I'm pretty sure it's not the 15th. It's probably something that's like the 16th or the 17th, probably. All right, why are they calling it 15 then? <laughs> they probably made something like Final Fantasy oh, yeah, like, 2 Extra. There might be like an Assassin's Creed thing with the... Like they did the Revelations and... Yep, Bro yeah. Well, yeah. well, Revelations and Brotherhood aren't actually side games. They're main games. Yeah, but they, uh, they were for certain consoles only or something like that, wasn't it? What, Assassin's Creed or Final Fantasy? No, no, those, those, uh, those Assassin's Creed movies, yeah, those Assassin's Creed games. I think some were only for, like, Wii, that's why you can't get them. Well, that'll be the side ones, like, uh, Chronicles or whatever. Yeah, yeah, that type of thing. Well, we've got the, the, um, Halloween events which are coming up with for Overwatch, Destiny, and Rocket League. Oh, there's Destiny thing. Yeah. I quite I'm like pretty sure the Halloween event has already been released for Rocket League. I mean, you got the Necromancer. Thing. Oh yeah, that's a uh, rocket that you got, you know, with the and, um, yeah. skull. And there was also a pumpkin, so I think the Halloween bits were already out. Oh right, okay, oh, that's pretty good. Yeah, um, I'll have to check out Destiny and see uh, Halloween stuff. Yeah, you definitely And then, will. did you say Overwatch as well? Overwatch as well, yes. Oh yeah, I could watch some of that, because I quite like it. Um, I, I want to see if Minecraft is a Halloween thing, because I know that during Christmas, they always make the chests look like presents. But they only do it at Christmas, they don't really do it for anything else, so I'm wondering if they might do something for Halloween instead. Oh right, well we can check, yeah. yeah. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so Kieran, you've been playing the um, beta of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare, what do you reckon? It's alright, I guess. Um, like, it's another first person shooter, and um, I, pff, main rival to Battlefield, I guess, for the first person shooters. Because uh, also I played Battlefield, and I was... Battlefield 1. No, no, Battlefield. You played, you played the I, I played the for that, yeah. But I played Battlefield 4 and Hardline. I mean, I like Call of Duty. It was cool, but I wasn't really expecting more. Um, just... One of the main things is cover fire. And it's not a cover-based game, but I would have thought at least going to crouch by an object and then aiming... Like, even Destiny does that, so... I would have thought there'd be some kind of cover fire, but uh, it's fine. Um... I just don't really like the kind of space stuff. I, I like it. I like shooters when it's more modern times, not, not other not. times. Like, I mean, I liked, I liked Overwatch, but that wasn't sort of futuristic. That was a different universe. But uh, it's a bit more cartoony, sort of. Because because I liked I like obviously I like Battlefield and I like Uncharted, so I th I think I prefer modern modern shooters. But yeah, it's, I mean, it's good. I had fun. I I quite, I, I quite like the checking out the, the the space setting and all that, and then when people. Got killed. Yeah. Their gravity went uh, went off. And, yeah, uh, but uh, also the um, I would have expected maps to be more interactable. 
because I only counted one map with uh, glass that could break, and that was only a bit of glass, so, uh, I mean, I expect more, but yeah, it was good. I mean, if you're into quad, then definitely get it. Yeah, okay. Well, yeah, th thanks for that update. So now it's time for video game 20 questions. You each have 20 questions. Well, you don't each have, but you've got <laughs> 20 questions to ask me, and it'll be a yes or no answer, and you have to guess the video game. Right. Do you want to start? Um, is it console? If it's if it can be as well as something else, then say yes. Yes. Are there guns? Yes. Well, you've got some thoughts, so I don't think it's a, it's a shooter. Hmm. Ooh. Okay, hang on, let me think of a question. Mm -hmm. If if we if we guess it's a, if we guess a game and we get that game wrong, even if it's, we haven't gone through our twenty questions, is that like an instant lose? No, you have you. You've got up to twenty. All right. Once you once you go past twenty and you 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 stop twenty, then you lose. All right. You I'll just answer that with yes or no. No. Okay. So I I need to uh, think of a question. Hmm. Is there a grappling hook? As a main thing, not if it's like no. a okay. It's not the one I was thinking of then. Is it two D? Yes. Is it pixelated? Yes. Is it robots? No. Mm, is it based in space? No. Is it called Terraria? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I thought so that when you said space because that, that reminded me eight. of um, Starbound. Starbound. Not Terraria. Oh, okay, right. Yeah. So, so <laughs> they are not the same thing. So, um, right. Yeah, that was another easy one. I thought I'd give you. So you got that in eight. So uh, um, give us something hard next time. Like well done. something that only. Oh, hang on. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll pull something out of yes. the bag next time. Okay, yeah, that's, uh, so that was video game 20 questions. Shall we move on to our next section? We're going to call this section Stump Kieran. And in this section, Kieran claims to be the best person at knowing what uh, everything about Batman. He seems to be the most knowledgeable person. Well, I claim to be the best. He claims to be the best when it comes to knowing about Batman. No, I, so I claim to be just the best. We're going to Stump <laughs> Kieran. Today, and we're going to stump him by asking, what is Batman's favourite soup? Well, um, if you ask me for that for any other superhero, I probably wouldn't know. But seeing as this is Batman, the answer is quite obvious. Bat soup. <laughs> <laughs> I, gonna... I, I, think, I think that is the answer. I think he gets his favourite drink is bat juice. But why That's, would it be bat soup? That would be horrible. like ca cannibalizing. It would be like cannibal soup. It's well, not... Damien, wait. I'll tell you now, Kieran, that you're wrong. <laughs> yeah. I well, know. I know what Batman's favorite soup is. Go on then. And some of you who don't know Batman that well would probably say Vichy Soise because that's the soup that he was served by Alfred in Batman, the Tim Burton original it's one. It's supposed to be it's, cold. It's supposed to be cold, and it's Vichy Soise. But his favorite soup is not Vichy Soise. It's Malagatoni soup. Why about Malagatoni? I don't know. I just know these things. <laughs> was it Bat Malagatoni? Okay, I, I, I have a guess. I just I, told I, you. I, I, no, I know what it is. I, know I just it told is. you what it is, last year. It's protein shake soup. Actually, no, it's just soup. Okay, now it's time for the video game releases for the week commencing the 24th of October. Is that today? No, it's uh, yesterday. So tomorrow, today, um, this week we've got on the PS4, Party Golf, Weeping Doll, Wick, Titanfall 2, The Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim Special Edition, Xbox One, Saturday Morning RPG, Titanfall 2, Elder Scrolls 5, Skyrim Special Edition, Cluster Truck, Forestry 2017, The Simulation. On PC, we have Splat 2K16, The Deep Parts, Labyrinth of a PC, Meadow, Luxus, Book Series, Alice in Wonderland, Party Golf, Wii U, Solitaire, Demonic Karma, Demonic Karma Summoner, Steam World Collection, Twisted Fusion, Darksiders, War Mastered Edition. On 3DS, Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2, Hyrule Warriors Legends uh, Line something, Ice Station Z, Mario Party Star Rush, Harvest Moon Sky Tree Village, Shintai Half Hero Genie, that's on PS Vita, Sword Art Online, Hollow Reality, PS Vita, 
Root Letter, Stein's Gate, Fate Extella, The Umbral Star. And on finally PS3, Blaz Blue Central Fiction, Persona 5. Right, now I stuck in a fake game and that list. Can you tell me which one it is? Um, that fake, that tapeworm farm or whatever thing. Well, all of the 3DS games sound like they're fake. Butterfly Inchworm Animation 2, what's that? <laughs> I know, yeah. I know Tetsin 4 is real because I played the beta. Weeping I, Doll! I've, I've, heard of, I've heard of Cluster Truck. Weeping Doll, that's their PS4. I've, I've heard of Cluster Truck, that's like yeah. somewhere we have to jump Cluster, on the truck. Oh, right, yeah, Cluster Truck, I've seen that. Yeah, that's Xbox One. Yeah, you have to jump on truck, doesn't it? Um. Those 3DS games. Oh, well, Saturday RPG, maybe. Yeah. yeah, that sounds fake, doesn't it? Saturday Morning RPG. That's actually an Xbox One game. What? Saturday it's, it's Morning still, RPG. It's still releasing PS3 games, though, isn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. I, but I, there, there's no P- Xbox 360 games this week. Hmm. So, um, yeah. Any ideas? I'll give you a clue. I put it into the PC section. Could you read out the PC section, please? Okay, Splat 2K16, The Deep Paths, Labyrinth of uh, Meadow, Luxus, Book Series, Alice in Wonderland, PC, Party Golf. Party Golf. As one of them? No. Um, a what, what, book series. I know that's as one of them. Yeah. That, oh, that, that, wait, wait, what was it at the start? Two, something in 2016. Splat 2K16, yes. It, yeah! <laughs> I win! Yeah. Right, so yes, that's Splat 2K16. Oh, I want me some yeah. podcast points. That doesn't actually sound fake. Well, these, that's the, the art of it. You have to sneak it in there. <laughs> the butterfly thing. That, that definitely butterfly. sounds fake. The yeah, butterfly yeah, is true. For that. The, what, butterfly, inch butterfly inch colon in, inch woman. Oh, you love your <laughs> <laughs> What? That's just weird. Anyway, so that's that's the podcast for this week. Um, uh, we'd like to thank DJ Rana for our theme, and remember to hashtag KNS Podcast for any um, questions or su- suggestions for um, uh, video game twenty questions. Awesome, and, Kieran. Or for Stump Kieran, if you know something for, about Batman that uh, we can Stump Kieran with, then let us know. Stump Kieran. And uh, so, uh, it's bye-bye from Sebastian. Bye. And it's bye-bye from Kieran. Bye. And it's goodbye from me. Arrivederci.